Hi, I'm Troy Sumitomo from 5Axis and uh, this year we're building three cars for Toyota Motor Sales and uh, you know last week you guys were here everything was going pretty well and then uh, we had a little hiccup. The machine behind me, um, what I called my perfect employee, wouldn't call in sick while well, he broke down and we had one of the motors go out, um, just needed to be serviced so we're putting it back together and uh, Neville's installing it because on top of that my uh, repair guy had, had to go out and have a baby so but you know we figure if we put, connect the wires up right and everything uh, it should be okay so we'll see in a few minutes how that works. What, what, what colors go to what? You know? Well I'm sure green with green, black with black. <laughs> Unfortunately, in this phase of the game, especially on the ISF, uh, this machine is really a big part of, of making the molds for the body panels that we need to get on the car. And it's because of machines like this, we can do things as quickly as we do. So having this machine down, um, it really it puts a damper on our schedule because if we had to go back to old school ways, I mean, I'd be honest with you, we probably wouldn't be able to meet the deadline. And if we did, we'd probably get half the car looking good, the other half, or we'd put a mirror in the middle of it or something so we can get the balance effect. So it depends on when this thing goes down and how long it's down for. I mean, it could, it could totally disrupt the whole program. And I really, the only recourse I have is to go outside and, and shop uh, the job to somebody else. But this time of the year, everybody is buried. So I really don't have a really good backup plan. But there's always a, br a bright side to every bad story. And on the, on the bright side of things here, uh, Yaris is in paint. Uh, we'll be shooting the color today and we'll be laying out the graphic. And hopefully by the end of the weekend, the thing will be completely painted. And then the XD is in better shape than it was last time. It's going to actually go into the surfacing department and uh, we'll, we'll prep that thing for paint. The ISF, it's, it's actually transitioned over to the surface plate where it's being disassembled and some of the, some of the small details are being worked on, like we're welding up holes, uh, changing the door handles and things like that. So there's a lot of progress being made as far as disassembling and getting the interior out because that still has skull upholstery and things like that. So at least it's in a staging area right now where it's being worked on uh, on a daily basis. Well within a week um, the plan is that you know hopefully by tomorrow we'll get this thing running again and we'll be milling out the molds for the body panels for the ISF. So hopefully next time we're here we'll actually have some parts out of the mold, um, fitting them on the car as well as this machine will be cutting more parts. In theory we're going to be at least machining for a, a week and a half to two weeks and just laying up right after that. So it's just like an ongoing process. Uh, no, do I look worried? I can't be worried. If I say I'm worried, then the client's gonna see the video and then they're gonna give me a phone call. So no, I'm fine, everything is perfectly fine.